to Two Point Hospital. My name is Jack Dorr and this is the next episode of our Let's Play series. So you join us today in the lovely Flutterin. We have already got our training room set up and now we are on the way to the first star in our hospital. Looking at things, this might be a quite a straightforward first star to be fair. We have to train three staff, we've done one. And we've got to promote three staff, we've done two. To move to my view, we're already two thirds of the way. The maths might not be right, however. Anyway, what have we got today? Mono beast. Goodbye. So we have got our general, our psychiatry room right here. It is a bit busy, as you can see. We've got a ward, and we've got a few GP officers. And by looks things, we've got no staff on reception. Let's fix that straight away. Assistance. Now, now we've got train unlocked. We don't want to be getting the very best staff straight away. We want to get someone who's got basic and then train them up. So you have charming, high pleasure, and high energy. Hired. Now I know we have got another one somewhere because we wouldn't just have a hospital with none in. So I think that should be good right there. What we want to do is expand our psychiatry. This down here is more of a treatment area. So what I'm thinking we do is we have two of these rooms: one for general for kind of diagnostics rooms. And the other one for the treatment. That way the patients can still flow through the hospital. So let's do that right now. Let's use our good friend copy. And our best friend paste. Now that looks marvellous, doesn't it? Is there any new things we could put in here? To be fair, it's already quite a good looking room, isn't it? To be fair. It's that four star. Now I'm tempted to start spamming these rooms a little bit. Just to kind of get us the five stars we need for each room. Because if we get five stars, then it's only going to help the actual room prestige, ultimately. Which is going to help us. Better prestige, better staff is the way you got to look at these things. What posters have we got in this room? My goodness. I'm appalled at myself. We have no posters. Right, let's get let's get all of them. Room for a poster. Let's get you in. Get the dog. Can we put the dog? <gasps> can we put it above here? Yes, we can. We finally can get something you above the fireplace. I've been waiting for that. Uh, put the giant dog hiding, staring at anyone. There we go. So when they're getting changed, the dog can look at you. And we'll get a certificate above the bin. Certify those bins. And I think we should get a couple of gold awards there and there. Any more gold awards? No one there? Fit any more in? There we go. Five stars. Fantastic. Right, what we're going to do for this room is we're going to set this room to a treatment only. So we're going to turn off diagnostics and leave you purely for treatment. Same over here, we're going to do the reverse. We're going to turn off treatment and leave that as diagnostics. And let's have a look at our wards. I always love the music for this. So enticing. And the survey says... Pretty good because don't forget on each one of these you do get a little bit of a boost of money so more money you get the better especially in the early game right fantastic so one other thing what we've oh hello what do we need a pans lamp fantastic wait there patient your pans lab is on its way there you are now let's leave room next to it so we can get another clown if we need to so how much space are I going to leave the clown? One, two, three, one, two, three, hold on. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Um, might be a bit of a squeeze, but I think that'll be alright. Put the door there. Put that over there. I know they have to walk in, but I think for the aesthetics of it, it looks quite nice that way round. Put the bin in. And recycle the bin. Maybe they can recycle the pans afterwards. Maybe. Fire extinguisher, yeah. And we'll put a few plants in this room. And we'll move you out a bit just so stuff can get behind it. The anatomy. There we go. What's the anatomy we do? We're putting it in, we don't even know. Okay, train speed. So ideally we want that in our training room, don't we? Ah, we've already got a few. Ah, well, we can have a few more, can't we? One there. There we go. Okay, where were we? It's down task. Back over here. 
Get the eye test in. Because it's such a lovely room. And don't forget, the bigger the rooms, the more prestige you get straight away. Speaking of which, let's put a few windows in. Because again, that does add to the prestige. Um, we'll get a few gold awards. I think we'll put four in this one. Two, three, and four. Get the certificate. Get some more photos. What else can we do? Get the clock. Is there anything we could unlock? We could finally unlock the hand sanitizer and start dotting that around. Or even get the nice hand sanitizer. It smells nice and it gives hygiene as well. Greetings Those cost a little bit for joining more, doesn't it? Not much more, mind. Day of the year. What else can we do? Coffee, birth. so reduces thirst and Needless gives a caffeine say, buzz. Okay. Drink and fountain reduces thirst the and not very hygienic. And the crown jewel um, of cactus. Radio. Me, cupboard in. Decorative. Ooh, a fish enclosure. We can't afford that. We'll get the cupboard. There we go. Put him at the back. Wait, that's hiding the gold award, isn't it? Nope. You. I'll put you then, I think, there. Fantastic. Right, back to the top. What else can we unlock? Let's unlock... Let's have a look. What do you think? Should we get the sanitizer? Should we just get normal hand sanitizer? It does smell nice. I'm not sure what the buff of smell nice does, to be very honest with you. But... It's both the same cost, isn't it? So let's let's get a nice smelling hand sanitizer. Can we get it on the front? It's a bit bulky, isn't it? To be fair, what's that a picture of? A cool dude, by the looks of things. Right, we'll get you in a minute. Sonic poster. Put you there, thank you very much. Get the chair. The back of the room. Some more ducks. Heading towards the exit. Drawings. Should we get a couple gold stars above the bins? Gold awarded bins. Could say that, couldn't you? And we've got all them. I think we'll get another lightheaded poster. And we are getting so close to five stars. Let's just put a few more gold stars in. Uh, we've got a gold star over here. And over here. Fantastic. Done. Pans, you're in. Circus instant. Eight people for just infection. I think we could deal with that. And we've got a mime crisis. That is our newest person. Where are you? Where are you, mimes? There we go, right, mate. Who are you? What's your name? Sean, you look a little bit worse for wear, too, didn't you? Still got quite a big cure. So even though we've set that as just diagnostics, there is still quite a big cure. Q. So let's look and get in. Right, we do need another psychiatrist. What doctors have we got? So you're good with diagnostics and psychiatry. You're good at treatment. So, uh, but you do like to argue, right? Let's delete some of these. Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? We'll wait a little bit, I think, just to get the bit more someone better in. I think we're going to have to expand this, aren't we? I think we're going to have to get another one set up around here. Okay. Let's move things around a little bit. Let's. How much money have we got? Loads of money. How much are you? 30,000. What we're going to do is we're going to move training over here. And we're going to move our ward. Not ward, sorry. Our. What are you called? What, what is this room? What are you? Pharmacy. Let's move you over here out the way a little bit. So again, this can be purely for diagnostics. Diagnostics decision. Okay. Um, that's them to wait. I think we should wait for a little bit because we can get a bit more space. Not a bit. We can get the cardiology in, which is going to help us with the decision making. You can die. Thank you very much. That's a mono beast, not a patient. Just if anyone was just listening to that comment. Right. You've. Well, as soon as you've finished, we're going to move you going to move you as soon as you're done. How long have you got left? Four days. Cured. Congratulations. We're going to edit you and we're going to move you. And beautifully placed, I think we can put it here. Fantastic. 
and then as soon as this room's done which is two days left we'll move you across and then we'll get another psychiatry in no we don't want you we want someone who's good at psychiatry i'm gonna edit you move you across oh that looks good there we could put it hmm. that's got a cool place and perfect right that's that done and now let's copy you and put you there I cannot help also trying to sell plants of and a sepia let them water that plant first in a freshly congratulations my sister's following her favorite there we go I had to water the plant we had to move didn't they just our luck okay there the smell of dumb Change you purely to diagnostics. Don't get in touch to let us know which of my memories is your favorite. Hmm. Right, now we've done that, we're going to kill that one of beast, one, two, and we're going to get cardiology. There we go, let's make it a bit bigger. Nope, you, thank you. Maintenance announcement. Toilets need routine services. Let them run, we'll let them run there. Get the wall man monitor there. Get medicine cabinets in because again they do heat, help the treatment and the diagnostics. We'll get loads of these across this back wall, I think. Fantastic. Weighing scales, I think that probably will fit this room, to be honest. I don't think I put in Greenwood. I know what will fit this room really nice. Where is he? Because who runs fast? Sonic. That gives you a bit of inspiration, doesn't it? Um, let's get a chair, because they might be quite tired after they've gone for a run. Get the clock on there. Get some gold awards. Two, three, and four. It's difficult as they walk as they walk in, so they can remind themselves that they are brilliant at what they do. Get painting, and again we'll just start spamming the room with all the other pictures we can put in. There we go. And the eye test. Can we fit any more in? What's really going to help us? One of them. Now again, I appreciate we're not going to see these. However, it does help the prestige of the room. Can we fit you anywhere else? On there. Where else can we get in? Can we get the dog photo in? Yes, we can. I think we're going to have to put a few more. Oh, we could put the charity dog in, couldn't we? And the hypno pole. Where could we put a hypno pole? Like that. That looks quite nice, actually, doesn't it? Either side of that. Can we get one more? And that's too much. We'll get rid of that one. And anatomy. Um, oh, I've got no plants, have we? Beautiful. There we go. Move them back. Again, the queue will slowly go down. I appreciate he is busy at the minute. What's going on? Staff promotion. Right, that gets us... A one task done and he wants training to be fair we do need to do some training yet yeah, not now and we've got a reporter on the way come on in we still need right you are actually perfect you've got nothing at all so what that means is we can literally train them from the ground up which to be fair right we've got loads of money so we're just going to get a guest trainer in fantastic now on their way you are dying, that's not good. Where are you in the queue? Don't know. Figure that out another day. Let's have a look at the nurses we can get. Again, we'll get someone with no... They've both got short tempers. Comes a nasty one and happy. Well, to be fair, we could just make sure you're always happy. You want one more money. Oh, who are you? Charming. Oh, you also want more money. We'll go with you. 
Congratulations. Wait. Wait, what? Can you work in there? There's four in the queue. Okay, there's someone going over there. I was very confused a second ago. Right, let's get some benches in. Move you slightly over and we'll get another bench in. Marvellous. Where are all of these mono beasts coming from? Who's got Mono beasts. Where are you? Do you? Oh, that's what I want. Where are you all coming from? So like hunt the mono beast now, isn't it? There's a couple. Don't, nope, nope. Get back it. Thank you. Right, that's given us a little break, I think, isn't it? Um, special report. We cured six out of eight. That's not too bad. Got another promotion. Still need to train a couple of staff. Have we got an, another doctor with nothing on? Oh, we've got him with that one qualification. Well, we don't need him anymore. And we will, again, get rid of both of these. Because, as mentioned, we want to get someone who we can train from the ground up. Like, not that person. See, this person is actually pretty good. Because they've got treatment, level 2. And they've got pharmacy management. And they're positive. But they are unsure about some nightshades. Well, just... Luckily, we won't put them in a place with nightshades, will we? Let's hire you. We're going to shoot you. And now start working out where we want to put people. So, for example, this person we've just hired, Adam. I want him purely doing treatment or pharmacy. So that is the two places you're going to work. You two, we're going to get going in the ward. The other two, again, we want to just leave them at the we'll, we'll leave them as they are for everybody, for all the other jobs they've got, just so we can spread them out for a little bit. The doctors, we can start to ensure they're doing the jobs we want them to do, because we've got three GP officers, and we've got three GPs, so we turn them off, those two. This one is learning the psychiatry tray over here so that means we'll get two psychiatry rooms which we have got now form a bit of a queue that's very much decorated over here which is really bad of us isn't it let's get the toilet room the toilet room the drinks machine the snacks machine and we'll get a couple of benches for them beautiful you look worse for wear We've got to make sure we need to you need to remind remind me if we've got an option to train them and actually upgrade the room that's what we need to be focused on doing so we do need to train some more so they are ready for training but we did see a couple of nurses didn't we who could both be trained and i'm thinking we should put two of them within the ward management and then what we can do is get two of them actually working in said ward and that will also complete our three train let's speed it up and we can get there nice and quickly and then what we can do I, I'm even quite tempted to get us a second training room going because we've got plenty of space so we could even get a second one going that's quite funky isn't it get that going and we can get our doctors well if we can get a couple of doctors in the training room we'll get them on GP2 Because what we can do is focus our staff on pure, just a couple of things at a time. That way it's going to train them up quicker. We'll be able to then treat our get, um, treat our patients quicker and also diagnose quicker. So it does make sense. And we've discovered a new illness, a lycanthropy. Lycan lycanthropy? They, some of these words. Um, so once thought to be extinct, lycanthropy is making a comeback in dangerous forests across the land. Um, sufferers get it from direct exposure to light from the full moon or possibly from door handles 
Research is ongoing to discover which will send the patient to the pharmacy. Where are you? You actually look like a... Who are you? Where are you going? You still need diagnostics. That's not good, is it? Um, and we did impress the health minister, which is fantastic. So one thing we haven't been doing, what we need to ensure we're doing from now on, is at the minute all of our patients are having to come back to the GPs after being diagnosed and then going to treatment which is obviously going to start clogging up the system a bit so actually if we go into the overview into policy we can select the fast track treatment option or decision so as you'll see it allows the diagnosis staff to send the patients directly for treatment when the diagnosis is certainly at or above the diagnosis threshold instead of going back to the GP and the minute we've got that to 90% so as long as we get those people to 90% or higher, they can go then directly to the treatment and that will speed up the actual flow of the rooms for them. Right, let's speed the game back up again because we've almost got these guys trained up in the ward management and we've also got the GPs going. Now one thing you might have also noticed I'm doing is I'm not building all the time. I'm only building when I need to. Because what you don't want to do, and the Only risk of just going crazy and building everywhere, is obviously else. one, it will cost you a lot of money, <laughs> we take jumbo card, and two, jumbo you might not card, need it. And jumbo plus members are eligible Let's have a look. Anyway, one star hospital, fantastic. So congratulations, your hospital's been more than a one star rating by the two point health ministry. So you're getting rather good at this, I see, and showing signs of ability to develop star from within. How terrible promising, which is say, how terrible. Stay there to nurture the Fletcher and talent or abandon it altogether and move on to Pasha's new chilly northern region. Ooh. So we've unlocked Mitten University, Tumble, the reception and also a clown poster. Brilliant. 100 kudosh, £10,000. Well, since our next task is to train more staff and promote more staff, well, I think we should keep going to be fair. Because it's only going to, it's going to come sooner rather than later. And if we keep working on the, the team, and the guys they're going to get better at what they do which will help the queues come down which all in all will help the patients move through the hospital quicker and it's going to help our hospital level as well so it all works hand in hand let's have a look what do you want herbert you want to cure 20 people i think we can do that so one thing i have noticed is there is starting to be more things going around i saw something that was broken a minute ago can you upgrade anymore nope so what we can do is start to actually improve this a bit more. Let's have a look. We've only got, at the moment, two two janitors. So I think we should get some more. Now, janitors, sometimes I feel, are the exception of training. Now, I always think, however, you'd want to get all your janitors trained in capturing ghosts. Because that's something you can only do if you're trained to do it. So let's hire someone who's quite good at motivating and potentially good at maintenance as well. So a bit like... Kyle. Motivated and giant and strong left peg. Fantastic to know. The only thing you can't do is mechanics. But you are unmotivated. You're good at mechanics. So I'm I'm thinking let's go with Kyle because then we can also train in mechanics when that available slot comes available. We are losing patience a little bit, aren't we? Alright, let's train these guys up what are we missing down here then we are missing a toilet so let's get a room of them put in as we're speaking so let's make it a lovely golden toilets let's put a couple of golden sinks this is like the pharaohs isn't it can you squeeze let's have a look let's try the other way around one there one there. And one there, beautiful. A couple of golden hand dryers as well. There we go. And should we give them the gold awards? I think we should. Where is it? There it is. So we can probably fit. Is it, you could call this the gold room. There we go, level four. I think that's probably what I'm going to have to do. 
Fantastic. Oh, well, one item we did unlock earlier, what we haven't been putting in, is the sanitizer. So let's start popping this around the place. By the entrances, by entrance to rooms. So again, it's not going to cost us much, and it's going to help this very unhygienic places start being a bit more hygienic. So one back there. It's not good how red it is, is it? Not what we really want to see in this hospital. Anywhere we can kind of sneak in, hand sanitizer, put it in. Even in here as well. There we go. Lovely. So, I do think, again, we should be hiring a few more janitors because they're not very good, are they, to be fair? We haven't got many, so we do need more. So, let's go a little bit crazy. There you go. You can you do get toilet rage, but you can capture a ghost. Congratulations, you're hired. You fell over, I'm assuming, on something, which is probably quite disgusting. And we've got a few promotions. So, that's one. Two. Okay, let's have a look at who we can train now. Let's do it the other way around, shall we? So, not you. We want to go into our staff. So, you've unlocked Psychiatry too. So, I think straight away, we should get you in. Because it's only going to help. It's only going to help the actual staff diagnose and treat a lot quicker. Nurses, they're both ready. So, again, we could get both of them in, actually, for Ward Management too. And if we hover over the ward management too, you'll see it gives 20% diagnostics, 20% treatment in the actual ward, and also the fracture ward. Now, we haven't got the fracture ward yet. However, that will be something we'll see a little bit later on. And we've got a pharmacy emergency. Let's do it. It's all going on, isn't it? It's keeping us on our toes. Okay, so that's that good. We've got a couple of toilet, a couple of drinks machines, a couple of vending machines. Got seating over here. That is looking pretty good. We are still making a good profit, which is fantastic. Let's just slow you down just so we can catch that mono beast. Where are all you mono beasts coming from? Where are you? Under here? Nope, that's a person. Nope, that's also a person. Nope, you're under this one. See, we know they're probably somewhere. They're just hiding, aren't they? They're elusive. And they are under the dog. What dog? There we go, fantastic. There's another one. It's like a reoccurring, isn't it? Okay, so let's have a look at some of the overviews. So attractiveness. It's not bad. We need to we can always fill that gap, make that green. This over here is it's more like a staff area anyway, isn't it? So we could probably leave that as it is. And over here that is something we do need to improve. Again, the queues are getting bigger. Can we hire one more doctor in psychiatry? See, you pretty, you are pretty good. We can kind of make you a kind of a, a float. Why do everyone have to be hangry all the time? Let's just get rid of all of you. And we'll have a look in a minute. All right, did we do it? No. Sorry, Herbert. Another promotion. Make you happy. Congratulations. And congratulations to you as well. Okay. Right, that is looking pretty good. Right, the tree, the level is almost up as well, so we haven't got that far to go. So let's put a few items in, which is going to make it a bit prettier. A fire fountain. That's um dramatically increases temperature. No, we don't want that. Then. Ice fountain. That reduces. It. Okay, yeah, obviously. Let's put a few fun things in. What could we put in? Put the leaflet stand in. Put a plant next to that. We're close to our wards. And let's put a plant over the that. We could probably get bench in the middle. That looks quite good actually. Right, have we improved on our awards this year? Let's have a look. Almost that no deaths. There's always someone, isn't there? Always someone dying on our watch and well three of which are pretty much almost there unfortunately in front of us as well um, but we'll just ignore them just pretend they're not there 
Just pretend they're ghosts. Probably will be in a minute, regrettably. Right, where have you gone? Wait, where'd you go? Let's turn you off. Did you go under that? No. Did you go under this one? No. Under this one, maybe? No. Where'd you go? This one. Oh, well, he's disappeared on us. No idea where he went. Okay. So, what do we need to do? We need to train some more staff. Let's speed that up then because we've got one, two, and three. So, to be fair, that will get our staff up to the two star rating. And then all we need to do is get the hospital level up a little bit. Now, again, the easiest way to do that is to keep building more rooms to a degree and start getting more things put in. Let's have a little special report. We cured all four. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you very much for coming. Now we have unlocked the reception. So should we do a little change of room? I think we should. Right, I am going to pause it for this time because what I want to do is we're going to delete everything. So you're going. Goodbye. <gasps> Just literally seen where all of those things are. Look at them all. They're all over here. Okay, because as soon as we press pray, these these things are going to go everywhere. Right, need a machine gun for this, don't we? Oh, there's no one. Over. Oh, there's more. The multiplier. So they they've been called to their master. They're all running now to the same place. Nope. Oh, any you? Any more? I think there were more than that. Let's let's try and find them. Yep, there's more. Just don't look at this, people. Just, nope. Just accidentally sold that. Yeah, I appreciate you are all waiting for reception. This was not the plan, but the mono beasts have took over. Okay. Pause. Right. So let's now get the lovely new reception area put in. That is one sexy looking reception. I think we could probably get away with just putting the two desks in for the time being. Give them a bin. Right, give them a few plants as well. One there. Let's move the bin to the middle. Put you in the corner. There we go. Put the anatomy model in, I think. We'll give them a cupboard. What should we give them? What do you think? Oops. How much kudos have we got? We've got quite a lot of kudos. So let's give them some flowers. And let's give them more flowers. And also some golden vase flowers. Okay, fantastic. To be fair, a lot of these things are, again, quite cheap. So I'm tempted just to fill it a little bit. Boom box. Okay, let's move the boom box. There we go. Charity, yep. Yeah, lovely. That looks really good. I don't think we need the radiators or anything like that yet. Or the ice sculptures. Or even the sweet dispensers or anything like that. Anything else we can fit in here? What's the fridge do? Uh, okay, it's just a decorative item. We could put the fridge in. That is ginormous. Okay, so this fridge, let's put you in. Can we put you next to... There we go. That doesn't look too bad, I think, does it? A wormhole bin. A shrubbery. Some ivy. Oh, that looks quite nice. Oh, we can put the ivy out here. Oh, that's just giving me some brilliant ideas. Right, let's put the ivy. Can we not put you right up against the room? No, we can't, can we? Okay. That'll do. That. Beautiful. And again, it's nice and neat out of the way, isn't it? So you can just leave it where it is. Okay, where are the rest of these mono beasts? Because I know there they all are. Now, I'm not sure how mono beasts work, if they do get multiplied or if they just keep appearing. I, I have no idea. I know they come, obviously, from the mono brow, but I'm not sure if that is, yeah, if it's, if they multiply, who knows? If someone knows, let me know. Uh, right. We do need to keep increasing the level of the hospital. Uh, right. Let, so, we've got that unlocked. Let's do... A bit of copying and pasting through some of these rooms. There we go. And you in. And fantastic. Two stars. That's all we needed. 
So, two star hostel, congratulations, your hostel has been awarded a two star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Uh, greater success gives birth to greater expectations. So everyone wants their um, supposedly fair share, and I'm curious to see how you cope as hang hungry employees begin to eat away at your life socks wearing parasites from within. Oh, nice. Um, best wishes to the whole gang down at Flottery. And we've got the Dehumurifier 2 and also the Heart Racer 2, which is Kyle on a G. Right, let's pause it there. Let's have a look. So in the next episode, then, what we're going to be working on, we're going to be working on getting this to a three-star hospital. And to get to a three-star hospital, we need to train 10 staff, promote 10 staff. Well, as you've already seen, that is relatively easy. We can just, because they'll gain experience on the job they do. And we can then move them into the staff training rooms, get them trained up, and job's done. While I think of it, because otherwise, I, let's, let's be honest, I will forget. Let's look at our list and change these guys to purely ward. We'll leave you on ward as well, but I want this person more kind of moving around. And then what we'll do in the ward is go into stats, give two extra staff or one extra staff. That will just help it flow again a bit better. Okay. Um, so we need 10 staff. We need to get the staff morale to 75%. Currently. It's at 0%. That's a little bit concerning. So we'll have to look into that again on the next episode. And we need to get the hospital level 12. So again, as you can see, we just need to keep expanding. We have got one, two more plots we can buy. So we can do that easily. We can even go for a good rejig as well. So we can move all the diagnostics out of this first area. And this could be purely kind of a GP only area. So we get all the diagnostics to one area. We'll leave the treatment in another area and we'll get kind of staff training in another area as well. And hopefully we'll get a lovely flow going around the hospital. Anyway, guys, that will be it for today's episode. Now, if you did enjoy it, I'd be really grateful if you can give me a like. And also, please make sure you comment down below. Again, I'm still waiting for all your tips and tricks you can give me on making these successful hospitals. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And for more Two Point Hospital, I will see you next time. Cheers.